teenagers are often a lost um, population. And I just found that when I was taking care of college students, that they were often unprepared for number one, taking care of their own health, number two, knowing about their own health, and number three, taking care of the common colds and things that adults know how to do. Many pediatric practices are not really set up to deal with the fact these kids are now six feet tall and are too big for their tables. We view ourselves as an important step to transition kids and families to the adult world. Most pediatric practices will see kids from birth to age 21. Most internal medicine practices will see kids from 16, 18 up until the 90s. Family medicine practices are actually arranged between childhood and adulthood, uh, but this is the only one in the area that has as its sole and primary focus teenagers and young adults. It's the only one of its kind. We like to think of ourselves as really one-stop shopping. We do primary care. We do specialty care, we do well women care, we do STD testing, we do drug testing, we do psychological testing and counseling and guidance. It's not just temperature and sore throat and vital signs, it's really how they're feeling inside. Their emotional health impacts their physical health greatly. When patients tell me information that I know is very private, I thank them. Every provider, every medical student, every doctor has had moments in their career where you've got information and you have to take a moment of a wonderment, thinking, thank you for sharing that with me. That was so important. I must have been difficult. And allow them to know that you're so grateful for that trust and to be able to help them. I think there's a great future in adolescent young adult practices throughout the country. I think it is a great service that we can tell our young people that we care about them and that we view them as important and that their healthcare needs are different and that there have to be providers who are really invested and passionate about them. My name is Janice Hillman, MD.